As a contractor, I can tell you that you get what you pay for. I can also tell you that sometimes it seems that protecting our bodies at work comes secondary to getting the job done. And, and that's not really the right way to do things. It took me a long time to realize that the demands of the job site quickly beat up my body. And it also destroyed clothing, right? Our contracted clothing just wears out. As far as protecting our bodies, or my body, I need personally to be better about wearing PPE. I've learned that over the years and over injuries. Uh, personal protective equipment, per PPE. And you know, when it comes to clothing, um, I wanna talk about thinking about clothing as, as PPE. I look for durable clothing that's comfortable, has quality construction, but also has a fit and feel in the fabric that you can see in the results in the performance of your work, right? It lasts, it, it stands up to a test of time in our, in our work. Unfortunately, a lot of clothing companies for the construction trade, it's a race to the bottom to get out cheap clothing. So let's talk about clothing as pr pr protection. Think about how many times you guys go down onto your knees, you're working down your knees and you're not wearing knee pads. Look, we go down onto our knees all the time. I find myself you know, working on one knee or going down on both knees, but then I'm up, but then I'm down again. And how many times do we actually take the time to go get knee pads or maybe kneel on one of those neoprene pads or something like that? Are you good at that? Because I'm not and I don't do it. You know, in in 2010, there were roughly 10.4 million patients that went to doctor's offices for common knee injuries. If you think about our knees, right, the knee cap is really only protected by skin and a little layer of muscle over it. And the knee joint, the actual joint components, are extremely vulnerable to injuries. So we need to think about that stuff. And, you know, think about what kind of activities that we do stress our knees. Well, kneeling or squatting for long periods of time, uh, repetitive kneeling uh, or squatting over and over so we do it over and over over the course of our career and obviously contact stress banging into things uh, hard contact or maybe hitting like a carpet stretch or something um, it all causes irritation inflammation and pain over time it can overstretch ligaments and it can squeeze the bursa in the knee repetitive kneeling especially and that's what we're all guilty of probably that results in tendonitis, tendon tears. Uh, when you use your knee as a hammer, like the carpet guys do, uh, or you're kneeling on hardwood floors or hard floors, that's gonna be a contact stress, and that's gonna cause irritations to the bursa. Um, that's gonna lead to pain, inflammation, and long-term range of motion loss. So the question is, we're not good with knee pads, we know that, so knee pads or knee padded work pants? And that's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about thinking about clothing to protect ourselves. I often try to engineer out working on my knees on job sites, but look, that's not always possible. And a lot of the things that we do, we kneel. So in these cases, knee pads are probably exactly what we need to protect our knees from pain and injury um, by reducing that pressure on our kneeling. But again, we're not really good about it. And I don't take the time to go to the trail and get it or I forget them at home or something. The whole purpose of knee pads is to protect that thin layer of cartilage and tissue called the meniscus and patella and kneecap and all that stuff. So there's no debate and I'm not trying to create a debate of what's best for your knees. Knee pads are the best for your knees outright. If you're gonna be kneeling all the time, you need to be wearing knee pads. But I, I, I typically wear them when I'm gonna be on my knees for long periods of time like tiling or you know repetitive things on my knees all day. But in most cases, I'm not doing that. I'm up and I'm down and I'm up and I'm down. I should wear knee pads, but I don't. And like I said, my, my work finds me in different places all day long and it never, I never think about it or it never see, it seems to rise to that level that to me to actually go get knee pads and put them on for a short period of time. I'm like, oh, I'll be done in a minute. So I find them a hassle to wear. I find them uncomfortable and the straps tend to cut off circulation. Uh, and I, I recognize that, that long-term periods of work, it's super important to have them from crushing those, you know, crushing, uh, cushioning my knees, but what I really needed was a better solution for most of the time. I, I'm good about the far and few times that I'm on my knees. I needed it for most of the time. 
So there are manufacturers out there making work pants with knee pads built in them. And for the occasional up and down work that we do, that's the way to go. So I'm like, let's look into this and let's make this a, a company uniform. So I started looking at embedded knee pads. They allow for free movement. You can move around. Um, it doesn't create any strap pinching or sweating that the pad straps do or, 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 or discomfort with the buildup, crunching up of your pants where the straps are. And most importantly, there's no loss of circulation from those straps. So these pants that have knee pads, they offer some protection, a lot actually, when you kneel every once in a while. They're generally, fle generally flexible and they work well at protecting your knees. And we liked the idea of work pants with knee pads that didn't look like the European pants that are out there as well because the, the ones that are out there that have the external pockets and stuff, aesthetically, we just weren't fans of it. It didn't fit into our traditional area where we work as well as our com company uniform. So what we did is we searched high and low for traditional carpenter looking pants. And there's a bunch out there, but we ended up looking at two different manufacturers that offered knee padded work pants. And then we took them to the job site to compare them. They were, um, the company was Armed Work Pant, A-R-M-E-D, Armed, and Thrive. And Thrive offers a carpenter style pants, they're 5200 C-A-R. Um, so um, Armed, Josh Banks, uh, cool guy, talked to him, super passionate, painter by trade, designed the Armed Work Pant. And Josh felt that the market was missing pants that worked well in the trades, right? He was actually looking for something that would protect him because he was painting a lot in baseboard work and stuff. So the style and cut on the arm pants, they offer lightweight and easy to move around work pant. And we like that. Their pants, uh, they have a very open pocket design that allows um, um, lots of tools, but also open pocket for a slide in pad. You can actually double the pads up. The only thing I will say is that this open top design does allow debris to get into that pocket and you got to clean it out once in a while. The pants themselves, the armed pants, are 12 ounce uh, duck cotton canvas like Carhartts like I wear. They feature an excellent, the best yet that we've evaluated, hammer loop, tool pockets, uh, built um, the knee pad pocket. It has stuff like, they, they both have very similar reinforced stitching, uh, large belt loops, um, gusseted crotch, all that stuff. Very durable pant. It basically, the arm pants basically give you a great pair of work pants with a built-in tool belt in a sense with all these pockets. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit about the pockets. They allow you to remove the work uh, knee pads if you want. They sell for somewhere around $55 and extra knee pads are around 16 bucks. And then there's the Thrive work pants. Now Thrive uh, is a Colorado-based company uh, created in, in 2007. And those guys, uh, they were looking for a solution to knee injuries and they designed a work pant with a built-in knee pad. It's, it's actually stitched into the pants so you can't take them out. And if you're an owner of a company, this, the guys can't remove them, I kind of like that. The lightweight knee pad is permanently installed, 100% protection all the time. So there's a plus to that. The pad is also laundry proof and temperature resistant to ensure that it doesn't flatten out and also break down over time. And time will tell if that's true or not. It's a 5200 carpenter pant, that's what they call it. And again, these guys are also made of a 12 ounce duck canvas fabric work pant. Um, they also feature anti-abrasion fabric in all the vulnerable wear zones, right? The thighs, the knee capped area, and the bottom cuffs because the boots always fray that area. Um, they have triple stitching rivets uh, at the end of the stitch points, um, extra reinforced material on the pockets for a tape measure to clip onto. They have, um, they feature a hammer loop. It's not as good as the armed hammer loop. They have, uh, in my opinion, better tool pockets than the arm pants. It's reinforced triple stitching, spacious pockets, large belt loops, gusseted crotch. Both, both pants had those features going for them. These pants sell for about $60 and that gel knee pad is included, it's built in. So you can't replace it. So you're gonna ask the question, which one did we like best? Well, first of all, both pants fit true to size. Both are durable and they have really good stitching. Quality, and I talked to you about that, it's important to me. Both pants are heavy and uncomfortable to wear in the heat, in the summer heat. But we knew that going into it. We didn't wanna go with the lightweight pants. We wanted to see what the durable pant would do. Um, I did notice that when you're driving and your knees are bent while you're driving, the knee pads on both pants touch your knees and that causes that area to sweat. I kept kind of moving my pants around a little bit to break that contact. Um, also, when kneeling down, sometimes because the pants are heavy, I sometimes would lift the pant leg a little bit because things would stick. But other than that, um, I do wish that both companies would consider maybe a metal clip like I have on my tool belt for a, uh, 
um, for a tape measure because right now they offer reinforced material and sometimes you, it, it moves too much and you can't get your tape measure onto it you gotta use two hands to kinda clip that tape on uh, and I think a metal tape clip would solve that issue but some guys might say well we don't want to rub against you know cabinetry and scratch things I get that too um, the armed pocket pan, uh, pockets they're, they have them in front of the quadricep area, and I found those uncomfortable to use, so I didn't use them. As a carpenter, I'm wearing a tool belt most of the time, and all my heavy tools are in that tool belt. These front pockets, these quadricep pockets, they're, they're better suited for a putty knife or utility knife, maybe a painter, but not a carpenter. Um, also, most of the time when kneeling, my kneecap would land half off or on the edge of the knee pad, sometimes sliding off. And that was an issue. And they say, you know, maybe your pants weren't sized, but I'm wearing the right size pants for my body and they seem to fit well. Um, they just didn't always line up. The Thrive Carpenter pants have a more traditional carpenter pockets. The best feature of the Thrive pad is that the knee pad tended to land better when I went down and I kneeled down and boom, I kneeled, kneel right on the pad, it was great. The problem with this is I became so comfortable with dropping to my knees quickly when working because you've got that pad that occasionally, very not always, the pad would roll to the side and I would hit the floor way harder than I would have if I was just going to go down on one knee. Uh, bottom line guys, the pants worked well. Uh, I prefer the Thrive pad and the pocket protection orientation more. Um, but at the end of the day, wearing these pants, I had more energy at the end of the day and less aches in my knees. Uh, they make sense. Super no-brainer to our knee longevity and health. Um, I do want to mention something to you. When, you. when you consider purchasing padded pants with padded knee pads, think about fit because that's kind of the problem I think I'm having. If you pull on your, have to tug on your trousers and move the knee pad in the right position, um, it's probably an indication that the size of your, your pants it's not quite right, or that the knee pad needs to be in a different position. Uh, the perfect fit for your knees requires the knee pad to actually cover the center of your knee, but also around the kneecap a little bit. And I, I had that problem with the arm pants a little bit. Um, and I, I might have to try a different size pant. A well-designed pad is gonna close around your knees and protect the knee from, from sliding off it. Additionally, Look for a knee pad that can be properly secured in a pocket like these pants have and not float around. You want it tight. You don't want that knee pad to slide. Um, also overlooked, and one of the most important aspects of perfectly fitting knee pad work pants is the proper size of your pants. You know, you can't be wearing your pants down your, 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 your knees like these young kids do. If the legs of your trousers are too long, too short, the knee pad pockets won't be in the right position. So guys, size does matter. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, suffering a knee injury can have extreme negative consequences. In addition to pain, we're talking financial loss, work loss, all of that. A, one good knee injury can keep you away from work and cause you to incur expensive medical bills. Think about that. And I'm talking about long term, not, you know, you got to think long term when you're in the trades. The combination of these factors result in financial difficulties for injured people, injured workers, and it's not fun. So if you work in the trades, you need to seriously consider adding these pants as part of your uniform, your daily PPE. They're traditional looking, they're durable, they've got utility pockets, and they save your knees. Just, just like we wear respirators and earplugs and safety glasses, we need to pay more attention and protect our knees. I'm Rob Robillard. I hope you found this video useful. Please consider subscribing. Click that subscribe button in the lower corner right there, and we'll see you at the next video. Take care.